Elaine Thompson Hera, Natalia White, and Ramona Burchell through the women's 100 meter semi finals. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops which is about once a day here on peter lloyd world also if you enjoy the content please hit that like button and finally leave your comments stay tuned to our exclusive coverage of the championships on the 20 being held in colombia as well as that in the united kingdom so when you're ready yep good to go jamaica's fastest woman and the world's fastest living woman over the 100 meters the great double double elaine thompson hera the 10.54 queen easily jogged through to the women's 100 meter semi-finals in england as well as her teammates natalia white and ramona burchell jamaica's looking good entering those semi-finals the first Jamaican queen to grace the 100 meter heats was none other than the great Elaine Tom Sahara in heat number two, running out of lane number six. She was splendiferous. Tom Sahara won her heat comfortably, winning in a time of 10.99, another sub-11 for her season. Then, up next in heat number 6, running out of lane number 1, was Natalia White. White was also very impressive. Natalia White ran 11.31 to win her heat quite comfortably. Up next in heat number 7, running out of lane number 6 was Jamaica's Ramona Burchell. Burchell did draw a heat with Julian Alfred running out of lane number 4, who is the 4th or 5th fastest over the women's 100 meters thus far this year and who clearly would like to win a medal and be on that podium here in England. Ramona Burchell ran second in her heat but made it safely through to the semi-finals running a time of 11.48 behind Julian Alfred's 11.24. Alfred won quite comfortably. Uh, I think Alfred will be one of the contenders here for a medal, medal position she, should she make it through to the finals. Now this of course is my two cents. The disappointment of um, the great Elaine Thompson Hera at the world championships particularly in the 200 meters she did state after an interview that she was not feeling well that she had eaten something that was upsetting her and anyone who knows even the basics of athletics know that if your stomach ain't working right you're not going to be able to run very very well uh we do all admit that she is not at her very best but the truth is at her worst she's top five in the world let's just be honest she's the best and she's a clear favorite to win here if she remains steadfast and healthy um i do think that she looked really really good in her heat she was comfortable 
she clearly was just doing what I've always stated, just enough to get through to the semifinals. And she was one of only two persons to run a sub-11. She looked really, really good. The times in general are okay times. But um, the wind, it's kind of still there. That's the impression I'm getting. There's not a lot of wind. In Tom Sahara's heat, I believe the wind was plus 0 0.8, which means that it's, it's pretty still. There's almost no wind. So I'm looking forward to the semifinals, which happens tomorrow on Wednesday, the 3rd of August. Should be really interesting, but I, I believe that she's a clear favorite to win here. Uh, I'd also like to say I think it's really, really um, admirable that the world's ranked fastest woman, uh, living woman, all uh, fastest living woman in the 100 meters and third fastest living woman all time in the 200 meters decided to go to the Commonwealth Games. I think it's a really good look for the Commonwealth Games and for Jamaica. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt and she stands a great chance of winning a medal here and redeeming herself. Uh, and I mean, when I say redeem herself, to herself because I've never been dis disappointed by this amazing athlete. She's just tremendously talented and we as uh, enthusiasts and connoisseurs of track and field should always be happy when we see her on the track. Now, Natalia White looked really, really good. She looked comfortable. Again, it was, it was still, there was no one there to press her and she did what she's supposed to do, just enough to get through to the heats. Um, I think White will do very well in these championships. She's one of the athletes that we have featured here on Peter Lloyd World. We believe that she's a great talent and she did have some serious injuries for injury issues for several years, but she seems to be back this year and running better than ever. I think she can podium. Kind of early days yet. I should really wait and see what happens in the semifinals, but she looked good to me. Now, there are other people who look good also, but she also looked good. Uh, Ramona Burchell was not at her best, but again, she drew a heat with Julian Alfred, who I believe is a fourth passes this year for the 2022 season over the women's 100 meters with a time, I think, of 10.81 or something like that. So, and Alfred was, of course, disappointed <laughs> because she got ran out of one of the fastest 100 meter finals at the World Championships um, just a few weeks ago. So she wants to redeem herself and also win a medal. So she is a contender that we need to look at. So it's such as so is Daryl Nita also and a few others. So it's going to be a really, really interesting finals once I believe all our young ladies can easily get through to the finals. But, you know, anything is possible, but I severely doubt it. So very, very proud of our, our ladies, the Queens, um, Elaine Tom Sahara, uh, Natalia White, and of course, Ramona Burchell, all looking good. So we are through people. Um, this, of course, is just my two cents. I would love to know your thoughts. All right. What do you think? Do you think that um, the great Elaine Thompson Hera will win the gold medal here? She should technically if she remains healthy. That's my opinion. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and leave your comments. The comments, I read them. Uh, sometimes when I'm really, really tied up and busy like this, I don't have the time to respond to all of them, but I try to respond to as many as I can. And I, tr my royals, I truly appreciate love the support. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be dropping another video in a few on the events happening in Cali, Colombia. Remember, you are royals, kings and queens, greatness personified. Act accordingly, believe in yourselves, and bless up!